Okay, hey everyone. Um, so I got the Oculus Rift Dev Kit, and I started integrating it into VR Sport. I thought it wouldn't work because I heard horror stories about um, Team Fortress not working out or being really hard to not get it to be nauseating. And uh, I played a little bit of that, and indeed it was quite nauseating. You can get used to it, but it was um, it was hard. So when I, uh, I did this for Volo Air Sport, I thought, this is never going to work. I'll, uh, I, I brought a bucket upstairs, you know, for the barf. But it turns out it's much smoother to play than Team Fortress, and the reason for that, I think, is that, um, well, in Team Fortress and in, in other first-person shooter games, you, um, you have this really... Um, Oh god, it's really hard to talk. <laughs> this is so intense. Uh, in Team Fortress and other games, movement is so very erratic. You, you move one direction, then you switch to another direction, then you do a double jump, and uh, it's, it's not very smooth. But in this, the trajectory that you follow is really, really smooth. And even though you can do power rolls like this, and that can be a bit disorienting, the actual level of nausea that I feel with this is almost non-existent. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, and the experience is, whoa, it's really intense. Let's do a little flip here. <laughs> and um, I also thought it would be harder to navigate without actually seeing your body, without actually being able to see what it's doing. But if you've played the game before, it's not much of an issue. OK, let's do this stream, you and me. Oh. And being able to look at your shadow like this is just... Uh, uh, man. Oh, man. So yeah, this is, um... This is really early days, but it's very, very successful as far as I'm concerned, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to bringing this to you guys. No, I'm just gonna do a bit of flying to show it off. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. Oh. Yeah, there. Oh, 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 graphics glitch. Particles flying by, they're really small and I have to make them a bit bigger but, uh, for the low resolution to really pick it up, but it really adds the total shit. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, yeah, another note on that seasickness thing, or the nausea thing. Um, the first couple of times you try this thing, you will get some sort of effect that says, oh god, I'm gonna peep my guts out. To some extent. It's different for everyone. But you get over it, eventually. You just have to do some small sessions and let your brain process it all, get used to it, get acclimatized, and then uh, eventually it works. Oh, flying up like this temporarily. Ah, oh, that is something really strange. It feels, it feels very intense. Let's dive. Oh, I could do this forever. I'm probably going to do this forever. This video is going to be way long. Oh, yeah, let's crash. Then I can just look down and maybe really look up. Where is my body? There is my body. For convenience of implementing it, I turned off modeling of the neck, so the camera just rotates directly around a single point. Um, in first-person games, when you're close up to other geometry, that's a bit of a problem. Because you expect your... Um, when you rotate your head, it's your neck doing it. Um, but when you're far away, and most of the time in the Air Sport, you are far away from the level geometry. Oh, ah. 
don't talk in ways to find people. <laughs> But yeah, when you're far away from stuff, you don't really notice that it's not your neck rotating. So it's fine for now. This one glitches in the eye over there. I wonder where that's coming from. But never mind. Uh, two. <laughs> ah, these hook turns where you just, you do a 180 bow roll, end up on your back, and then pull in, and then look into the turn vertically, as in looking straight down, that's just like this. Oh no, 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 wait, like this. Ah, oh, those feel really good. We're not done, we're not done. <laughs> oh, performance is really taking a hit now. There's a moment really in the background somewhere. Or it could be the fact that I'm recording this. Ah, uh, <sighs> I didn't make it. Okay, so even though I'm crashing a lot, I have to say, once you get used to the fact that you can see your body and get over that, it, the added depth perception does really help with judging your turns and uh, being able to guesstimate if you're going to make it over that particular ridge. If you're paying attention and not trying to speak at the same time, though. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to end it after this one because performance is really starting to take a hit. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek at Volvo Airsport with the Oculus Rift. I hope you're looking forward to it. But heck, you probably are. You've been screaming for this. And uh, again, I'm so happy that this turned out to be way easier to do uh, than anticipated and with none of the issues that I thought it would have. Even the tumbling along the ground is, is kind of okay. Doesn't seem to make me nauseous. My friend couldn't process this though. Again, it's very personal. Oh, hey, tree. <laughs> Beautiful 3D tree. Yes, that'll be the last thing you see. Goodbye.